Hey guys, welcome back. I am here to do my 16 week pregnancy update. I always forget to take my glasses off before I start. Um, and I am 17 weeks today, so it's hard to believe I'm already 17 weeks. It feels like it's going by really fast and still really slow at the same time, but 17 weeks today. So um, as far as symptoms go, I don't really have a whole lot that are new, but a few things are getting a little worse. So I don't know that I've ever talked about this, but in um, about five or six years ago, I was getting really bad headaches <clears throat> that were causing me to vomit and almost completely black out to the point where I couldn't get rid of them. No medication would take care of it. So they thought I had a brain tumor, <laughs> which I don't. <laughs> I went to a neurologist and basically it ended up being um, mild headaches, not headaches, migraines, and they gave me some migraine medicine for it. Um, luckily, my migraines don't really come back, but I do get regular headaches pretty often. So I've had an increase in headaches lately, but it's hard to tell if it's just my normal headaches or if it's actually from pregnancy. So I don't really know, but I have had more headaches. I feel like I wake up with headaches more often. Um, and then when I do get them, they are a little harder to get rid of. So drinking enough water and taking a few Tylenol really doesn't get rid of them most days. So um, that's been a little bit more fun this last week. I had one all day on the 4th of July, which was definitely not fun, but whatever. As you can tell, my shortness of breath is definitely getting worse. Um, I need to find something to help me get more active to try to help with some of that, but I am so tired by the time I get off and by the time I get home that that is just like not possible. So I don't know what I'm gonna do there, but it's getting really bad. Um, and I think part of it is I'm still really bloated along with everything with the baby, so uh, that's definitely having an impact. Um, I have started to have congestion at night when I lay down. So I don't have any kind of congestion during the day. Um, no signs of like allergies or anything like that. But as soon as I lay down, I get really stuck, like stuffy right here. And it almost feels like when you go to sleep and you have a cold. So that has been happening about a week or so now. Um, and has become pretty, pretty well consistent. I'm also having some, what I think is round ligament pain. I have a lot of stretching around my stomach and a lot of um, tightness and I get pains in, in weird spots on my stomach so that was you know I guess that's kind of new but it's getting worse so not really new but definitely getting a little bit worse so other than that nothing really different on the symptoms um, I had a doctor's appointment on last Thursday last Last Friday, it was supposed to be Thursday, but my doctor got called in for an emergency delivery and she was able to fit me in a Friday morning. Um, kind of sucked because it was the first appointment Dan didn't get to go to because of her having to make the changes to the schedule, but like I told her, I would want her to do the same for me if I went into labor, so obviously I, I can't be mad at her. <clears throat> um, we did get to hear the baby's heartbeat. She did find it very easily with a Doppler. Her heartbeat was 135 and um, she could hear her moving around, so... That was neat. She actually told me that the baby is all the way up. She is less than one inch away from my belly button, which seems crazy to me. Um, I've mentioned in other videos, you know, being plus size, I just feel like I look like I'm getting fatter, even though I'm not. I have only gained two pounds, but um, I just feel like that's what I look like. So it's definitely um, nice, I guess, or reassuring to see she is already moving up and what's happening to my waistline is not just me overindulging in cereal which has been my craving lately so um that was definitely my highlight of the week from last week on the 4th of july my mom came out and we painted the baby's room um a few people told me they felt like it was too early for us to do that and you know i can understand their reasoning why um, but we really had a good time doing it. My mom works seven days a week most weeks, so she's only off if there's holidays. So I was really glad she had to come out and help me do it. It looks amazing, and I will share videos of that with you guys soon. Um, but other than that, we didn't have a whole lot happen really during in the week 16. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I do have um, just a handful, a very small little section of baby bites. We actually went to Marshall's, and we were looking for a dog bed for our dogs. Um, there's this room and they need a new one. So I actually didn't find a dog bed, but I did find a few cute baby things. Um, so for those of you that know my husband, you guys know that he is very persnickety, I guess, about name brands. Um, he feels like the quality is better, but he doesn't pay name brand prices really. So 
he, we, I think I've shown these in other videos. If not, then maybe that was before I started doing the baby bias part of my videos. But um, he bought her a little Ralph Lauren polo onesie with little, whoops, with little ruffles on it. She has another one of these um, in pink and a pink polo. But the, like if you can see here, 10 bucks. So it's not like we paid a lot of money for it. Um, <clears throat> and it's really cute. And he has ones that'll match. It's even cuter. This I was really excited about. Um, this is a set of five onesies. One says, pretty perfect. This one's just plain white and coral. This one is really cute. It has little glittery stars on it. Um, and then these two, this one says princess, hashtag princess. And then this one's another little plain one, which these are nice because I can make decals for them if I want, or I can keep them plain to go with her icings. And these again, um, I mean, normally you can't even buy five plain Gerber onesies for eight bucks. Eight dollars from Marshalls. So, um, really cheap baby buys this week and really good quality. Like, this feels like it's really well made. We are trying not to buy a whole lot for the baby right now because um, we expect to have to do more to the nursery, buy some furniture, stuff like that. And honestly, we have so many friends and family that are so incredibly supportive that this girl is going to have more clothes than she knows what to do with. So some of this I bet she never even gets into. So I'm really trying to refrain, but I'll tell you it's so hard. Um, when I've been shopping for other people's babies for the last five years and not been able to shop for our own, um, now that she's on her way, is really hard. Um, we have picked a date for our baby shower, um, September 10th. I'm very excited. My mom and my best friend are hosting it for me. Um, we have a really nice hall rented here in St. Louis up in Rivas Barracks Memorial Park. And um, we're doing a co-ed shower. We're doing it more like a party. I don't want baby shower games or anything like that because I want everybody to feel included and everybody to have a good time. And I know most men aren't all about that. So, um, plus, I honestly, I get bored of baby shower games. I'm not a big fan of them. So, that will be coming up soon. It's Lion King themed. Lion King is one of my favorite all-time movies. So, um, I'm very excited about that being the theme for her baby shower. Um, other than that, not too much has been going on. I do have our name reveal. I keep, every time I say that, I think of something. I do have our name reveal video finished. Thank you. A very special thank you to Sarah at Sarah Loves Peter. Um, her channel is phenomenal. But she helped me with some video editing because you all know how good I am at video editing um, to put it together. And I will share it with you guys soon, I promise. Um, it's not for lack of trying to get it out there. I just, by the time my energy is done and I get stuff posted, um, it's hard. And that's in a different format, so I have to post that from my computer, which is my husband's gaming computer, which is a whole different process than just me making my videos and posting them to YouTube. So, um, anyway, I will get that up for you soon. That is it for now. I am, or I will follow up with you guys here in a week and tell you how week 17 goes. Have a good night. Bye.